Hey everybody, this is Koo Impact with Let's Play Artie Lightfoot. And let's not fuck this bomb up like we did the last time. We need to put bomb there. Not blow self up. No, put bomb there. Get get bomb. Yes, bomb. Bomb? Oh, that's not right. <sighs> Damn it. Sometimes he throws it, sometimes he puts it down. I don't know what determines this. It's not momentum, I'll tell you that much. I mean, it's supposed to be, but sometimes it's just like the game's like, Oh, you have momentum? Throws it. Oh, I know what's happening here. Let's see if we can cheese this out. <sighs> so this mini-boss here is uh, the Genie of the Lamp, or Mambo Kapongo. As I like to call him. He's a jerk. He will try to punch you in your head and take your peck away. With his pecs. His mighty pecs. Of course, he's using his arms, not his pecs, but his pecs are still mighty, if you understand. <sighs> There's a way to cheese this ball this guy out, but I don't think I can do it. It's, 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 it can only hit him once. Okay, good. We got him. There you go. Solved. Let's do this. Grab the key before it hits the ground. Awesome! Hey, I did learn something from that speedrunner. I think the boss is here. Awesome! Yes. Best way to start a boss. Jump into the spikes. You can also cheese ball this boss. Let's see if I can pull that off. Here comes hysterics, everybody. Okay, so he's supposed to run around Benny Hill style chasing this mouse. But he didn't start out on the right side, so... Now watch this. Up, oh, in, out, in, out, in, out. Oh, hey! Boss over. So the AI is a little wonky, I'll tell you that much. Now, if you can nail the mouse with Peck, it also gets him. The speedrunner managed to nail him as soon as he came and grabbed the crystal so there wasn't a ball. Oh god, the fucking roof! Yo, Dun Jacoby! You ain't got no knees now. Good job. Um. Ow. He got fucked up real bad back there. Um. Artie's not liking, liking this. He's taking it pretty hard. I think that was his older brother or something. Oh no! Get out while you still can! Killed himself for you, Artie. Don't you feel good? I bet you don't. Meanwhile. Well, you, you, you see here, King, I siege my liege to you. And he already got your stone from Grounder, McGroundfuck. And he's also beat up the Ninja Fox, even though she jacked the stone from us right after that scene. And he beat a mouse by cheeseballing it and tricking the AI immediately to give it to him. Oh, you want me to go out and laser him? Okay. Of course. This game. Now pirates. Of course. The progression of this game is kind of stupid. Is that King Dedede's castle in the background? It looks like King Dedede's castle, doesn't it? From like the later Dreamland games in the anime. Welcome to the ocean level. Lol. He didn't do his tail thingy. No, this is bad. Water is instant death for Artie. Don't get don't get me wrong. It may look like he can swim or stand in a little bit of it, but deep ocean, he he dies. You see, he's eating a devil fruit and he can't swim. He'll pretty much become stone if he goes and touches the water like that. Ow! I know it looks like it's shark infested, but it's not the case. It's the water that kills him, not the sharks. The sharks are only fins. This is quite possibly one of the worst runs of the stage I had. Over the summer, I beat it without loading state once. The boss is a whole different picture. Although you can cheeseball that boss too. There isn't a boss that you can't cheeseball. It's just each one has a different degree of difficulty. I am not going to be able to cheeseball the last boss. Just no. The pinpoint frame precision is annoying. Otherwise, I'll die. 
but this boss and the next boss, uh, oh yeah, we can totally, um, cheese ball them. Ow. No, uh, don't touch the fat moles. They have flaps under their arms. I guess they're flying squirrels. This pirate ship is manned by flying squirrels and self-sacrificing chickens. Well, chicks. They're murdering babies! I mean, they're pirates, but I, I didn't think pirates were that cruel and heartless. Alright, don't walk off the boat edge. Wow, this really is a train wreck. I'm gonna take the upper path, because the lower path is much more deadly. And I'd rather deal with the upper path than the lower path. And if I stay sproing tail like this, then things will go well. Bam! Checkpoint. Got a natural checkpoint. Hmm. I know. Now they're throwing barrels at me. Barrels. Ugh. So many freaking guys sacrificing lives on this boat. It's crazy. I guess they were the PewDiePie cultists. That's why they were destroying barrels. I don't have any offense to the guy, really. He's Swedish. That's all I have to say. Of course, I have to make blind jumps now. Look out! Oh, there we go. I'm sometimes cautious when I play Artie Lightfoot. It just... It just is a game you have to be cautious about. Let's go fight a boss. Let's see if we can cheese ball him. That's not cheese balling him. Don't let him get an attack off. Okay, hit him again. This is not cheese balling him either. This is cheese balling him. Let's see if we can keep that repeating pattern up. I missed. I didn't tail thingy. I fell off the anchor. Oh, wow. Super fail train. Let's do this. Ooh, fail train. I don't care, actually. Let's see if we can keep going with no hits. I think I got him in the loop. Awesome. One more time. That's totally how the boss fight should have went. I don't understand why I couldn't do it the first time through. Pretty cool, huh? You could cheese ball all the bosses in this game. Really can. Climb that rope! Don't burn the rope this time. We don't need it burned. So I think they're signing their legion over to us. They also handed us a pretty orange stone. So, yeah, we need to... Go find this other stone. We are the Artie Pirates! And you dropped us on this mysterious sunsetting island. Meanwhile, again. Do do do! I'm here for your taxes because I'm an evil emperor and she's praying to Jesus. But you know. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition! He just owned that old guy, and he broke the floor with his feet. Christians, in this day and age, in a world of furry rules, I don't think exist. Shouldn't say Christians, let's just say Catholics. It's like the reverse Spanish Inquisition. I fucked this jump up, now I'm screwed. I don't want to go through the rest of the level. So let's see if we can make this jump. It's an easy but hard jump, because you can easily jump it, but you need to tail jump it to make it. Oh, failure. Be prepared to hear that first riff a lot. I'm almost out of time. I don't think I can make it. Oh no, oh no, no. Oh no, 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 oh no. It's one of these parts. This is one of the parts that I suffered with in my run over the summer. Really was one of the hardest parts. I cannot make this jump for the life of me. And the ending credits also has a hard time making this jump. So they got a different guy to do the next part where he makes the jump. Also, it's slowly becoming nighttime in this level as I waste more time trying to make this jump. The ambience. The music's full of ambience. Shh. 
That castle in the background just gives me all kinds of bad feelings. It's like it's filled with really gimmicky rooms that almost all auto-scroll. Yeah. Foreshadowing. It hurts when it's true. Ow. Later this game. Hmm. Of course, who would want to see later Artie Lightfoot? I think, I don't know, people are still waiting for me to get back to what I was doing before this. But I kind of want to finish this game. You know, since it's short, we're, we're nearly done. We have... What, how many colors are in a rainbow? Seven? We have five stones? What the... What? What is going on with the physics? I'm out of time, so this has been Coompact, and I will see you guys next time.